More fallout, though, following President Trump's comments yesterday blaming both sides for the violence in Charlottesville, Virginia. Congresswoman Gwen Moore tells Charles Benson why she wants President Trump removed from office. Well, the Constitution offers two ways to remove a president, impeachment or the 25th Amendment, which can be used if the president is deemed unfit for office. Congresswoman Moore tells me it's time for President Trump to go. On Tuesday, President Trump defiantly blamed both sides for the weekend violence between white supremacists and counter demonstrators in Virginia. Many question why he even showed sympathy for the fringe group's efforts to preserve Confederate monuments. Those comments angered Congresswoman Moore. She describes President Trump as an apologist for neo-Nazi and white supremacists. If the president wants to side with that element, uh, in our community. I just think that that in and of itself is enough evidence, notwithstanding what other things will eventually materialize to start the conversation about removing him by whatever means necessary. Now, other Republicans have weighed in on the president's comments. House Speaker Paul Ryan tweeted yesterday, quote, we must be clear, white supremacy is repulsive. This bigotry is counter to all this country stands for. There can be no moral ambiguity. And Congressman Mike Gallagher from Green Bay was more critical of the president in his tweet. He said, quote, the president needs to be crystal clear that hatred has no place in uh, our society, but he is currently failing at it. By the way, as far as impeachment goes, Senator Ron Johnson says there are no grounds for impeachment. George and Shannon. All right, thank you.